Stay tuned for the Joan Quinn Profiles. Joan served the state of California as a member on the Arts Council and on the Film Commission. She continues to find people who are on the cutting edge of their professions. Here's Joan Agajanian Quinn. Hi, I'm Joan Agajanian Quinn, and welcome to the Joan Quinn Profiles. Our guests today are musician Alex Cole, composer, singer, guitarist, music publisher. Alex Cole was born and raised in Milan, Italy. He's only been in the United States since 2014, but he's already been recognized by the city of Los Angeles as a big supporter and participant in the city's Echo Park Lotus Festival. Alex has a classically trained baritone tenor voice and studied 10 years with Italian blues legend Claudio Brazzani. Brazzani? Bazzari. Oh, Bazzari. <laughs> <laughs> He's a legend. Bazzari. Uh, so with all the classic background, uh, Alex thrives in this music genre called retro rock. So how did rock come into your classical background? Well, thank you so much, for Joan, for having me here first. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to me. I'm so glad, Alex, because you're going to be leaving for Milan again. Just for vacation, just a bit quick, like, and then I will be back soon. Back to Los Angeles. Yeah, I, I have a new album coming up, so I'm recording a new album, but this is maybe kind of... Where are you recording it? Uh, Los Angeles. Oh, you are? Good. Uh, so yeah. you can only stay away for a little bit. No, no, I can't. You have I to can't. come back. Right, Do you right. love it here? I love it here. I know, it's so I, great. I, actually, it? I live right behind the Warner Brothers, where the tower is, oh. and then every day I walk my dog, and then oh, I you're see... Oh, Burbank. Yeah, Burbank, and I see the tower. You know the place, right? You yes. know the area? Yeah. Every time. It's, it's so full of artists, so full of much, you know, like experience and inspiration. I was going to say, is it inspiration for what you're writing and for what you're doing? Right. I compose classic power retro rock music that, you know... Classic in, retro rock? Exactly. What is that? Uh, reminds you of the great bands from the 70s, oh. like ACDC, Ted Nugent, ZZ Top, but it's original music. You wrote the music. I write the music, yeah. And I do, I have a three-piece power trio, and uh, I play guitar, I sing, I play harmonica, and when oh, I'm on... Oh, you do? You play harmonica, I too? I play harmonica, too, sometimes, yeah. No, actually, every time on stage. <laughs> and, you know, the part is when uh, I play on stage, I dance like James Brown. I do lounges, so like wide open with my legs. Actually, I don't know what happens, you know, when Have I'm Have you ever stage. seen James Brown in person? Uh, unfortunately, no. I saw him oh, at really? a party in Texas. Oh, Unbelievable, wow. that spinning around and going down yeah, like that. Yeah, Fantastic. all the dancing. I think it was the, you know, the inspiring, uh, these great artists from the 70s, the 60s, you know, James Brown, Such Jerry Lee Lewis. Such good music, yeah. right? Good music. But how do you write in that style? You know, I I grew up listening to American music, and Elvis Presley, Jerry Lee Lewis, ACDC. I just I was completely, uh, you know, blown away by the energy, and I wanted to compose with the same energy and with the same you know chord progression. But, but I mean, like that was in Milan. Yeah. But there you were, studying classical singing. Were you right. going to be an a, a opera singer? Well, let me tell you something about it, okay? Yeah, tell me. Um, <laughs> I'm originally from Milan, Italy, and of course, I, I grew up there. But, you know, they wanted me to be a rock star. <laughs> you know, they were grooming me to oh, be a were. pop star. Oh, they were. But I wasn't quite happy. Because I like rock and roll. Yeah. Right? Uh huh. And then when I came here, I went to the most, two of the most beautiful, beautiful place in Hollywood, the Whiskey A Go Go <laughs> and the Viper Room. Right. And you know what? I'm happy because I can say that now I'm playing those clubs regularly. Yeah, that's what's so great. But that isn't what they groomed you for, or they were grooming you for that? They were grooming me in Italy to be a pop star, you know, to, to oh, sing in Italian. Be, oh, I see. I had so, vocal coaches oh, telling me, you know, like, I see. singing in mellow music. You have to I do see. mellow music. You have to be, you know, like, pop and, you know, so like, So that's why your pop. voice was trained. Your voice was training for that. Yeah, my voice. Actually, yeah, I got a good training, you know. I got but good it's good now, right, for when you sing? Oh, now. Does that help? Uh, oh, that completely helped me, but actually here in Los Angeles, I can be myself. That's who I am. 
I am a kind of bad boy rocker, we like my song, Bad Boy Rocker, but you know, I, it's that's just, your song, right? that's my song, Bad Boy Rocker, you can listen to my website, alexcoldrocks.com, but you know, it's like, it's it's how I feel, it's how, in Italy, they were looking at me on stage, like, oh my, oh, that guy looks like the devil playing, what do you want to do, you're an Italian, but you know, I, I just wanted to follow something inside of me, to be who now I can really be, a rocker. I just want to play rock and roll just and people and roll. now they're telling me I'm not listening like actually let me tell you something <laughs> after you know, I okay Mario Maglieri found me Mario uh -huh. was the owner of the whiskey a go go oh. and the rainbow oh yeah he listened to my music and he told me Alex I haven't heard this music I ever heard music like this in 30 years Wow. Do you want to play at the whiskey tomorrow? No. Yes. When did, what brought you to <laughs> Los Angeles in the first place? What do you mean? How did you come? Why did you come? Oh, just, you know, I, I, I came here f four years ago and I just, I, I follow something inside of me. I just wanted to escape from Italy. And did you think you were going to live here? Uh, yes. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes, I had. You wanted to live here? Yeah. Once you, but had you come as a child? Had you been here before? Once in 2009 with my dad, mm -hmm. like, you know, very touristy, but you know, it's like... But that was it? That was it, that was it, just two weeks. And then after years, I said, okay, I've done everything in Italy, I have to go. <laughs> and so then when you got here, you got a gig at the whiskey right away? Right away, because Mario listened to my music and he said, wow, you remind me of the music that I brought at the whiskey. Like Jim Morrison, um, Jimi right. Hendrix, you know, uh, the yeah, the Who. Right. And do you want to play the whiskey tomorrow? And I, I had the time to pick up my jaw off of the table, and said <laughs> yes, of course. So the next day I played the whiskey, and that's how it started. That's when you first got here, and yeah. that was that. But now, do you write music for other people too? Well, my music is gonna be here in movie soundtrack pretty soon. Oh, good. Yes. But but do other singers sing your work? Well, my music my music publishing company. Oh, yeah, you I'm, have a music publishing yes. company, which I thought was really interesting because you publish yourself, but you publish for other people too. Uh, I I have now I cannot say you know so much, but I am collecting you know musicians and other composer to be on my you know like uh, my roster and you know because it's hard to make money today with you know with music we do that for passion so the thing that you want to make money or you know just to make a earn a living right to to be able to also recording in studio because it's not very uh, it's no. it's pretty expensive right. so now the, the way is to. You know, be to have your music on movies and TV. So here they were grooming you to be a big star in Italy. But was there music in your family? Did anyone play music, sing, do anything? I had an uncle play guitar in a, a little in the little town orchestra. <laughs> but I grew up listening to my parents' vinyls, like Michael Jackson. That was uh, it. That was it. I was just I I moved by the groove. That's why I'm saying about uh, James Brown or Elvis Presley. I was, I, I don't know, something inside of me was just, uh, I got my soul shaken, you know? Just like rock, you know? So, so Mr. Bazzari, was he disappointed that you became a rock star instead of... No, I know, he wanted me to be what I wanted me, you know, what I wanted to be. I, I actually, I met Claudio Bazzari through uh, a producer, a friend of mine, Kiko Santulli, and uh, those two guys are great for me because I, I, I actually, before I start playing guitar, I, I was a singer, so I was 12 years old, oh. and I was singing in Milan, in you know, around clubs. Oh, and you I were? Because yeah. that was, but with, th with this yeah. voice, training right right I see but oh then and you didn't play the guitar then I, I didn't play guitar yet I was just a singer I was uh, well how'd you learn to play guitar uh, then with this Kiko Santulli this producer yeah. uh, I, I was singing in his studio and he told me Alex you have to know to learn an instrument so he just, he just <laughs> handed, uh, you handed my no, no this I, I brought <laughs> no this is a, a, a new baby but <laughs> I mean he uh, brought me the guitar and he tuned it up in in uh, in a in a, just a way that I could play with my just one finger, and and so after two weeks, I was like, wow, 
I loved it. And he said, Alex, I'm not a teacher, but I want to give you a, man a magic number. He's my friend. He's one of the best blues musicians in Italy, oh. maybe in Europe and in the world, of course. And <laughs> it was Claudio Bazzari. So I started oh. with Claudio. Oh. And I teach me, he taught me uh, the blues. You know? He taught you the blues? He taught me the blues. And then I wanted oh. to know more about music, so oh, he taught me everything. Oh, oh, because he was the blues legend. He was but a blues I legend. Thought he was a session man for everybody. Uh, you know, he played what for did he many. Play? I'm sorry? What did he play? Guitar? Uh, Claudio. Yeah, he was, he was a guitar player. So uh, let, me, let me show you just a little bit. Just a little quick. I didn't know anything about this. And I started with this. It just oh yeah, how Alex, you started? Alex, you have to start with the blues. If you know the blues, you know everything. And it's like this. Right. It's just a, <laughs> right. it's so simple, he right? You that. It is so simple, but, but you then learned it? You have to like do the palm mute because if you if you play like that it's kinda messy, right? But you have to put, you know, the groove, your soul, and uh, make the note sound clear. So the, yeah. And then I start being so more fast, so I'll get get more, you know, faster. Like. And then you started. You were singing though already. And then you I knew yeah. how to sing. Right, <laughs> right. And then I started singing, you know. Oh, right. Way down in Louisiana, close to New Orleans We're back up in the woods, I'm all in evergreens We're still alone, Kevin, in the mood of the wood We'll leave a country boy and the journey be good We never had a little rewrite so well But he can play guitar just like a ring a bell Go, go! Go! Go, Johnny, go, go! Sing, John! Go. go, Johnny, go, go! Go, go. Johnny, go, go. go! Go, Johnny, go, go, go! Johnny, be good! Yeah. Oh, so that, that's fantastic. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you. Thank you for doing that. The other thing is now I can see why the city of Los Angeles wants you to be at their Echo Park Festival oh, for the was, Lotus. Tell yeah. me about that. Oh, I played Ju uh, July 14th. It was a great experience, and they I, I received an award. I know. And, you know, it was it was you know amazing. It was my four times playing there, and <laughs> they invited see? me on stage to give me this award and say, Alex, thank you so much for bringing your art and make Los Angeles a great place because it's what we want. It's what it's what. To it, include everyone. We which want is great. to make this city a better place to be in the art also because we yes. are you know, we're trying to be artists. We right? wanna be art. We right. love yeah. art. The other thing is I love your vest. Tell me about oh, your you. vest. Well, it's custom made. Of course. Yes. My and tell me what it is, because it's some fur and it's feathers and uh, leather and And it's yeah, feathers and um, it's fur here. Yeah. yeah it's only, actually, uh, it's custom made, but it, my business manager, she made it. Oh, she did? Yeah, she did it. She's and, so great. Uh, she's awesome. Peggy Phillips is one of the best person in Los Angeles. After Mario, I met her, and oh. we, we help each other, you know, sh with, with things, and Show she has a great thing, creativity. You know? Show me your sash. It's hanging behind your leg. Oh, yeah, this is the wingy wangy. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. What is See, that? Well, it's uh, like more feathers and more beads. feathers and beads. Do you wear this on Creativity. stage? Creativity, yeah, yeah, of course. It's pretty heavy, but you know, I like when it goes every. Yeah, it gives you, know, you when some I play. weight. Right. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so you. glad you came today. Thank you so I much. I really was thrilled to meet you, and I love that Alex Cole is like pure-breaded Italian. I, that can't be your Italian name. I think you're Alexa or Alexandra or something. Maybe Alessio. Oh, maybe Alessio. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm so glad you came, Alex Cole. Let me give you my you. pig, too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you for watching this part of the show. We'll be right back with Pamela Smith Hudson. Thank you so much. That was so good. And thanks for watching the Joan Quinn Profiles. Keep writing to J-A-Q-U-I-N-N-1 at AOL.com.